Joshua. Currently, we are on our second week of MCO in Malaysia. Wait, or is it the week? Uh? <laughs> Lost count already. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, in order to kill boredom, we have decided to make uh, videos of uh, simple cookings uh, for people who don't cook like this. <laughs> but I guarantee you it's gonna be awesome. Just wait and see. Yeah. <laughs> so today we are gonna make tortilla wrap. Yes, sounds good, right? Uh, it's simple and also it's super healthy because it has a lot of veggies in it. Like. Best of all, all the ingredients you can get it from your local supermarket. Yep, hope you enjoy this video later on and um, let's get to it! Go. Yep, so basically the sauce over here are just the base for the tortilla wrap. Here we have some roasted sesame sauce, uh, barbecue sauce, and also some chili flakes that is uh, for those that would like spicy like me. And also we have uh, some seasoning of uh, salt and pepper. And also uh, we are planning to have a side of uh, nachos with a dip. So uh, for the dip, we'll be using yogurt and we'll teach you how. And also, uh, we have gone super lazy <laughs> because for the chicken, we have uh, went to get the IMS uh, crispy right fried chicken. This is not an advertisement anyway. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and it's uh, spicy flavor. And also tortilla wraps, you can just get any tortilla wraps from your uh, local grocery. For here, we have gotten the uh, wholemeal version. So, yes. so we will prepare now and see you guys later. guys here are the uh, ingredients that are being prepared basically we have uh, chopped uh, tomato diced tomato sorry and also uh, cucumber uh, here are the lime and also we have uh, chopped uh, coriander as well and here is about a little slightly more than half of our onion and also a few cloves of uh, garlic and yeah so we are gonna start preparing our salsa base for the tortilla wrap place everything on a plastic container and uh, here we're gonna season it with some pepper and also about a pinch of salt maybe slightly more and we forget to mention uh, we will be using some olive oil to uh, mix with the uh, salsa but if you don't have it it's fine as well If you put it in a container like this and you have a lid, uh, the good thing about it being lazy again, tip number two, you don't need to mix it up. All you need to do is just close the container and then you shake it. Just shake it as hard as you can. And 
and here you have it. This is the uh, salsa. And the, as you can see, the portion that I'm doing is quite a lot. So uh, the good thing about this is that you can keep it in the fridge probably uh, after today's meal. You can, uh, if you decide to make another batch the next day, you can just take it out from your fridge and you're good to go. Looks so good, right? So guys, right now we are going to make the dip for the nachos. It's going to be a yogurt based dip. So what I've done is I've poured out the yogurt on a bowl. After that, we'll add in some onions. But however, this is to your liking. Uh, for me, I prefer to have a bit more onions, so I'm going to put a bit more. And then we're going to add on with some garlic. And please wash your hands before you do this. <laughs> and also some of your leftover chopped uh, coriander. So yeah, this is basically all you need along with some seasoning as well. It's very similar to the salsa uh, ingredient. It's just that you're replacing it with uh, yogurt. And to make it a little more spicy, uh, I'll be using some chili flakes and this is actually uh, some flavoured chili flakes. Once that is all added together, we'll mix it up. Probably just a little bit more. So yeah, this is the dip that we will be eating it later. Uh, we'll just put it to the fridge along with the salsa. And yep, that's all you need to do for the dip. So right now, we are gonna heat up the tortilla wrap. First, preheat the pan and heat up the wrap for 5 to 10 seconds each side. And no oil is needed. chicken is cool, we will cut the chicken into slices so that it will be easier to be wrapped later on. So now it's time for us to uh, put everything together and make this wrap. For that, we will put the wrap on a plate and uh, depending on what kind of sauce you want to use as a base, for now we're going to use uh, roasted sesame sauce. We will just put a thin uh, coating on the uh, lining of the tortilla wrap. I mean the surface of the tortilla wrap. You 
shouldn't put it too much because uh, otherwise it will be very soggy later on. So yeah, that's just the right amount. After that, we're gonna put in lettuce. Yeah, guys, I still have a very Asian gin in me. I'm still using a chopstick. Most reliable tool in the kitchen. <laughs> and uh, we will be uh, putting the salsa. And you have to estimate how much you want to put in because of the wrap, uh, you might Depending on the sizes of the wrap, you might want to put in a little more or a little less. Alright, that is done. We'll put in some cherry tomatoes. And the chicken slice. Hopefully it has not too much. And lastly, to put a crunch, a little crunch on the wrap. Uh, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take uh, the tortilla chips. Here we have some nachos chips. And just lay it on top. Here comes the hard part. We have to uh, wrap this up. So yeah, uh, like I said just now, mine is a little too big so in order to uh, make sure it really wrapped up what uh, I did just now is I actually pressed the two layers of uh, tortilla wrap together to bind them uh, and that seals it, uh, holds it just nice and uh, lastly before we eat it we just uh, toss it into the pan for a while so that it just uh, make the out the skin to be much more crispier before serving. Alright guys, this is the final step. All you just need to do is uh, take the wrap that you have just uh, prepared and we'll just heat it up on a pan for about probably 30 seconds just to make sure that the wrap is all crispy up. That will be much better rather than having a soggy tortilla. And since you, I've wrapped it this way, uh, I'm going to grill it only one side. If let's say you are able to have, you are able to buy a bigger tortilla and you are able to seal up all edges, then you can uh, toss it around. pretty simple uh, because you don't need to cook much it's just a matter of preparing so let's try out so good I and mean, it looks so nice we'll try the chip first mm, the nacho is nice <laughs> <laughs> because there's no <laughs> what we <laughs> exactly it's from a packet so we're gonna try the dip uh, to be honest mm -hmm. this is how the dip looks like. Apparently the yogurt that I bought, uh, there is sugar in it, so, but it turns out fine now, right? Mmm. Mm. Really good. Okay, the dip wise, I think we recommend it. Now it's time for the tomato stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try. 
try it out. If you find it hard to lift it up, I think we can just trim the plate and you know, yeah. push it down. I mean, yeah, because of the brand, mm. but the salsa is very refreshing, mm. right? It's sour because of the lime. I like it because I like veggie. Mm, yeah, yeah, it's healthy, yeah. And uh, just like I said just now, if you all don't like onion or garlic, then you can change it. Mm. Is it because we are hungry? That's why it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> So, how do you find this combination? Mm -hmm. It's very healthy and nice. Yep. And very delicious. Yes. Very crunchy. The texture is good. Yes. So, yeah, uh, I think we are really hungry right now. We are gonna finish up yes. enjoying this slowly. And you guys can try to make it at home. And if you all want, can tag us for the result. Yeah, yeah, you guys can uh, post it on Instagram and tag us for the result. It would be awesome if we can get it yes. from you guys. <laughs> anyway, uh, before we end this video, uh, we would like to remind everyone to be safe and to stay home. And uh, we will write this up together. Uh, no matter what, in the end of the day, things will turn better yes. in, in, in a matter of time. Yep. So just stay strong, guys. If you hit that bell, then probably you get to see all the updates that we have. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's it. See, see you guys, guys next, next time. time. Ciao.